Yes, I'm looking forward to this event for fundraising for needy girls um, in Zimbabwe. I'm originally from there, so I know the need for funding for some of our girls. You know, we have difficulty getting funding. So I'm appreciative of everyone who is here trying to put the effort to raise funds for some of the girls in Africa. Okay. This is a lovely idea for the Davis community to be able to do this. I'm here looking at the beautiful artwork and beadwork from Africa. This is what I came for. This is what makes my heart warm and joyful. Hi, my name is Ava and I am in charge of the silent auction this year. So everything that we have, um, all the donations um, and baskets you buy, all the money will go towards supporting children's education in Zimbabwe. It goes directly to our students. So thank you so much for all your support. Hi, um, my name is Lachelle May. I'm the wife of the Chancellor of UC Davis and I'm excited to be here at the T for the African Lioness. I am a guest speaker tomorrow and I look forward to delivering a great message about empowering women. My name is Ida Chen, longtime resident of Davis and I'm just really looking forward to this event because it celebrates women and girls and yeah, I'm looking forward to the yummy treats. <laughs> Rachel Star Garrison. This is my fourth year coming to the Tessay Foundation um, annual Hats Off for Diversity Ladies High Tea. I'm looking forward to having a good time, but mainly supporting the African students. It's an excellent cause. I'm planning to sponsor one of them myself. So 2017 and 2018, we more than doubled our scholarships. We raised $12,000 last year. I mean, that's incredible. We didn't even need the guys. We don't need the men. We can do it all by ourselves. Isn't that amazing? We continue to do the sanitary pad project where our girls and some boys also learn how to make reusable sanitary pads. And once they make it, they take it home and they don't have to miss school anymore. So the video was a few years back before we even started sanitary pads. So it's amazing how far we've gone and you have to come next year to see the follow up to that video. Hi, I'm, I'm Judy Rodriguez and I'm just looking forward to hearing more about the African culture and finding out more about what is going on with girls' education in Zimbabwe. So the video talks about the what we're doing. The why is that I am second generation benefit of these scholarships. So I didn't experience not being able to go to school, but my parents did. And my dad grew up in the village. My mom grew up in a different village. He got married. Long story short, he had two wives. And uh, in the middle of nowhere, left these two wives with eight kids and died at 38 and left them to take care of their kids. Had it not been for someone believing in my mom, I would not be here today. And so I take that very seriously, that it affects a whole generation. Hello, my name is Joy Mutare Fashukanu. I'm so emotional just to be in, this, in the presence of such amazing, wonderful women who are doing great things and I'm looking forward and I'm honored and humbled to be a part of this. I'm looking around, I'm looking at the resumes and I'm looking at the work that these women are doing all over the world and I'm just honored to that have their light touch my life and I'm looking forward to meeting more people to see how I can join this uh, vision for what we can do to continue to change the world one child at a time. Right? 